Hey guys, what's up? I'm here back again with the second installment in the Magic 101 series. So for those of you looking to uh, manifest something long term, and what I mean by that is when you're doing like candle magic, typically you're looking for some type of quick result or some type of um, short term manifestation. If you're looking for something long term, something to grow over time or um, for to release something um, over time, like say a smoking habit or something that you're trying to release, an intention jar is actually going to be one of the better routes to go. So in today's video, we are going to go through the steps of how to create an intention jar and uh, the components that you can use. And again, anything that you do, whether it's affirmations, whether it's magic, whether it's rituals, whether it's reading the Bible, your intention going into it is everything, okay? Which is why um, how quickly things manifest has everything to do with your ability to believe it, okay? And also, I want to let you guys know that I actually do these intention jars as well, um, as well as the intention candles. So there'll be some information in the description if you guys are interested in either getting the ingredients for a certain, you know, manifestation that you're, you're focused on or a certain habit you're trying to release, um, as well as the intention candles. Um... Yeah, that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching again, and let's get ready to jump over to the tables. All right, guys, welcome back. So today, again, we are going to be learning how to create our own intention jar. Now, <laughs> my station here is very, very intricate. Yours does not have to include all these different things. Um, but like I said, this is about something long term that you're either trying to create or, um, you know, release. And since a lot of people like myself are focused on creating a long term relationship, I thought that it would be best to go ahead and do a video on, you know, how you would how you would create an intention jar for that purpose. Now, keep in mind if you're looking to grow your business or grow your finances, this also very much applies, especially if you're trying to heal something physically, okay? This is about um, you putting together the communication for the universe uh, to let them know what you're asking for so that you can now um, set that intention and release it to the universe, okay? Um, I always have my clear, my clear quartz crystal here because, um, you know, it's it just represents everything. So it, it 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 strengthens any other crystals that are around. I also always have my amethyst pointer, as well as my um, other crystals and rocks here that have all been been charged. Um, so as I was saying previously. Your intention is, I know I'm kind of, there we go. Your intention is everything with this. So um, for those of you trying to attract a specific person, um, it is possible to do that. And, you know, whatever your intention is, you just want to make sure that everything is done with the purest of intention and ultimately the highest good for everyone involved, okay? Uh, anything that's coming from another place is not um, even spiritually recognized. It's sort of glossed over, and that's why you feel the discord when you're looking in that direction instead of going with the flow of love and the highest good for everyone involved, okay? So some of the things that I have on my station are for enhancing the energy while I am putting together my intention jar, and you can use any jar... Um, this is just a small little mason jar, which I love because the thing about an intention jar is you're going to put the things together and then you're going to just set it somewhere in a discreet place uh, depending on what your intention is. And then you're just going to allow that energy to continue to do what it does. Okay. So, you know, if you have um, bigger things that you want to put in there, depending on your intention, I mean, again, if... <laughs> 
You can do things like bringing back a partner and all of those things, um, but the intention behind those typically make those a little bit harder things to manifest because it also involves another person's intention. So if you can be a little bit more free with how the love that you're seeking comes in or how the finances that you're seeking comes in, the universe can work its magic versus it needing to go, go the long way because it's got to get around this other person's intentions as well, okay? Because if that love could come easily through that other person, it would, and you would not have to hold it together or struggle in any way. So um, you could put a picture of you two in there if that's what you want or, you know, um, a picture of that person or, again, and we're going to get into the the thing that you'll want to put inside of the jar. Um, and I'll show you exactly what I did there. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to use this small mason jar. Um, definitely have my herbs. We have St. John's wort also because, you know, it's for protection and it's for stability and uh, longevity, okay? We have lavender for that same reason. We want this relationship I want this relationship, and again, this is going to be my intention jar that I'm putting together for myself because I happen to be in a place where I'm open to a long-term uh, relationship, but I'm also looking for it to gradually happen naturally, so um, it's the perfect thing for that, for that sort of thing, okay? Um, so I want it to be a peaceful, loving, calming relationship, but also protected, so lavender is a wonderful wonderful herb for that rosemary is the all-arounder as well it enhances like your intuition as well as you know it's it's kind of like the clear quartz of herbs if you will in that it kind of covers all bases if you will um, and then of course you want to use rose petals uh, roses always represent some form of love um, and attraction and passion and then peppermint, of course, because it represents abundance. It represents um, not, not so much just finances, but if you did want to create a fi a, a, an intention jar, you'd want to definitely put mint in there for finances. But it's a, abundance in general, okay? Um, and any other herbs that might represent what your intention is, you know, really, if, if you're looking for some type of healing physically, you might want to look for herbs that have healing properties, physical healing properties. You know, I know, uh, you know, one of my favorite things, as a matter of fact, I was going to say, is ginger. I use ginger root in everything. I use ginger tea. Um, it, I grind ginger up when I'm juicing. It's just the best. And mixed with, with cayenne pepper, um, which is another great, which you guys can't see because of the light, but... Um, which is another great um, spice for um, uh, love, is um, mixed with ginger, it helps with immunity. I mean, I never get sick <laughs> because of the amount of ginger, I think, and cayenne that I do uh, together. I mix a little tea and um, some honey and some, and some apple cider vinegar, and I drink it every morning, and... Uh, I haven't been sick in over 20, 25 years, and I've gotten, <laughs> and the last time I did get sick, it was when I got the flu shot, but we're not even going to go there. But today, we're going to use the cayenne pepper because we're going to add a little bit of spice to this long-term relationship that I'm seeking, okay? If you want to add some spice and, and, and love, I also am going to add a, few, a, few, a little bit of these crushed peppers because they're a little bit more in their... Um, raw form, if you will, than, than ground, but we're going to add a little bit of that, and then I want to definitely have a sweet and spicy relationship, okay, because sometimes the relationship can be fiery without the sweet, and that's not what I'm looking for here, okay, so use your intuition on what, you, on what you're going to want to add, because um, you're setting this intention, Okay, and then so the other things that I do have here are the um, essential oils. Obviously, peppermint in its essential oil form um, represents the exact same thing. So remember, when you're setting an intention, anything that you can do to enhance the energy is what you want to do here, okay? 
Um, I have lavender as well in, in the oil form. I have sandalwood, which is a wonderful oil, which again, the lighting is really making it difficult to see the actual labels, but it's sandalwood, um, as well as jasmine. Those are two wonderful, wonderful essential oils for attracting love. Um, and then I have dark amethyst right here, which is again, I want this to be a spiritually connected. I want us to both, I want it to be like an intuitively connected and drawn relationship. So anything that will enhance that intuition, like amethyst, which we're also going to put in the attention jar, um, clear quartz, I want to definitely add the clear quartz inside of the jar. And then I have rose quartz here as well okay so anything that you you know do you have to do a little bit of research and I'm actually putting together a little bit of a guide for you guys um, that will be available shortly that will help you guys understand what crystals would work best for what manifestations or what what intentions you're you're looking to set a side note about the essential oils I'm using what I actually have but if you can, if you're out there seeking for the best oil to attract some type of love or long-term relationship, rose oil is also another wonderful oil. I just don't happen to have any more. So the sandalwood and the jasmine are going to act as the um, alternatives, although you know they have as much attraction power as well. Now, that being said, I have actual jasmine here that I'm going to be putting in here too, um, and then. For the coup de gras, we're going to be adding one straw flower, which represents longevity, because remember, I'm looking for something long term. I'm looking for something stable. I'm looking for something passionate with the, with the peppers. I'm looking for something sweet with the honey. Uh, I'm looking for something intuitive, intuitively connected with the amethyst, you know, something loving with the rose quartz. And I'm a bit flashy, so I'm going to throw a little bit of glitter in there because. You know, I like the idea of us of us walking into a room and stopping the show together. <laughs> Look, we all have our own intentions and well, you know, I want us to be showstoppers together. So also you're going to want to have a red pen. You don't need it, but remember, anything you can do to enhance the energy of this intention jar that you're putting together is, is your goal, okay? And then, of course, the intention. So... I have mine written on parchment, and I wrote, you know, you can write anything you want on it. On the front, I drew a little bit of a picture. I, I'm not much of an artist, but again, um, let me see. Let me cut this uh, freaking sun. Not freaking, but this sun is <laughs> just too much of a glare, and you guys can't really see. And hopefully, you guys can see. But yes, yeah, so I just drew a little picture there of me and my baby, and we're walking by the tree of life, and we're saying we love each other, and we're receiving messages with the bird, and we're receiving guidance with the star, and we're receiving the energy from the moon, and we're connected intuitively, I mean with the sun, and we're connected intuitively with the moon, and we're just happy, and then down here I put M plus whoever you are forever, and, uh, you know, and then on the back, I literally wrote just the traits that I'm looking for. Or you can write an affirmation. Like I wrote, I'm in a beautiful, loving, faithful, connected relationship with the man who I adore and who adores me. He's generous, spontaneous, spiritual, and free. We love each other the way we always wanted and needed to be loved. And so it is. Okay? And that's basically what you would put. And you can write whatever you want. Now, look. Like I said, if you're trying to attract a specific person, you would just write their name on there, or you would write you, you know, whatever, whatever your message is that, that represents uh, you and this other person. Or, look, you could also seek the characteristics of this other person, physically even, without it having to be that other this other person okay so keep that in mind as you're setting these intentions that way you still give the universe the flexibility to bring you what you're seeking because it, you know there's a reason that it's not that person at least right now and um 
the universe knows why, but it can bring you what you seek in that person as well as what you actually need to feel emotionally fulfilled, okay? So just keep that in mind as you're setting your intention. And I've, I have literally found as, as recently as yesterday or the day before yesterday that you you got to be specific, okay? <laughs> you have to be specific because the universe is going to give you exactly what you asked for. And I... And I can say that because I got something that I asked for exactly, but I wasn't specific enough. So now I have to go back in and kind of re, um, reset that intention with, with a little bit more detail. But you got to be detailed. So if you're looking to set a long-term relationship or you're looking for something, write as much as you can or write an exact amount on here or write exactly where you intend to be with your business within the next six months or a year. Whatever your intention is, that's what you want to write on this. And again, I used parchment. This is triple moon parchment, but you can use it just a piece of paper. Um, but anything that you have that will enhance the energy is where we're, what we're going for here, okay? So that's also going to go inside that jar. So first I'm going to actually do everything I can to cleanse the space now that I just let you guys know what we're going to be using. And again, this is a super you know, extreme version of what I'm trying to create here because like I said, finding out that I need to be very specific with the universe has caused me to understand that especially in the person that I am looking to have a long-term relationship with, um, I, need to, I need to put down exactly what I'm looking for <laughs> and, and just stick to that for sure. So to enhance the energy, I'm just going to use the pink candle as I'm setting up my intention jar. And um, this is a diffuser. So we're just going to put a few of these oils, like we're going to burn a little jasmine oil just while we're doing it. And this is just going to help cleanse the space and keep, and keep it energetically balanced while you are setting you know, your intention and putting your candle together. I mean, not your candle, excuse me, your jar together. We're just going to put a little jasmine, and you know what, I'll do a little bit of peppermint. This stuff is very strong, so just be careful because you will be like, my eyes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that way we can just keep the intention going. Um, we'll go ahead and get this going. And so we're going to anoint that pink candle before we get it going as well. Um, and that way, again, we're adding more energy to our intention here. Okay, so we have this. We have the pink candle because I'm looking to create a long-term relationship. And this one I'm going to just anoint with the sandalwood. And you just put a little bit in your hand. And make sure it's the pure oil, and you should be fine with whatever you're putting on your hand, okay? And just anoint the candle so it's lightly brushed, okay? And yum, sandalwood smells amazing. And then we're just going to go ahead and just uh, get this candle prepared now that it's all anointed to stand... Okay, and so now you're just going to put these things sort of to the side because again, it's all about the energy, cleansing the space. You're going to go ahead and light that candle. Now, since I'm using one of these mini taper candles, even at the end of this intention jar, I'm going to set this candle here and let it burn all the way down next to the jar before I place the jar any place, okay? And I'll let you guys know that towards the end. But just know that this is all energy being sent. Another way, and again, to cleanse the space is with smoke. And I'm really showing you guys kind of all the different routes right now. So it does not have to be this intricate. But I just want you guys to see that you can cleanse the space with the smoke. Okay, and by just waving the incense kind of over everything, over, you know, okay. 
And then you'll want to just, you know, put it put it away in a spot where it's not going to be invasive. Okay. Another way that you can cleanse the space is going to be with sound. Again, just showing you guys every different avenue. You can choose whichever one works best for you, or you can choose the one that, um, sorry, I'm getting a little hot box with hot smoke, and I think it's just going to do that anyway, because that's what it does. <laughs> Um, and you can choose whichever method works best for you or you can do them all. It just depends on your space and what resonates most with you. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. Since we are vibration, um, any way that you can kind of shake up the energy around yourself. Okay. So now we have prepared the space for the intention, okay? So we're just going to start. I like to actually start by just putting the stones in first. So we're going to start by putting in the rose quartz because, again, I'm looking to manifest. Um, with this intention jar, I'm looking to manifest a long-term stable relationship, and rose is one of the best ways to do that. Use your intention on how many crystals you're going to use. I'm just going to put a few in there. Okay. And then the clear quartz, again, it's just a way to, since it, it, since it, it kind of represents everything, it just adds energy to any crystal that you pair it with, okay, because it is clear. And that's why I always have my clear quartz crystal whenever I'm, setting any type of intention, even if I'm writing in my journal or, or um, you know, writing, you know, writing out my intentions. And then, of course, amethyst, because I want, most importantly, I want us to be connected on a deeper level, on an, intu an intuitive level and on a spiritual level. And, you know, like I said, you can do this for a specific person because this is basically what you're adding that energy to whatever you wrote on your paper or whatever picture you have or whatever thing you have talisman or, or sigil that represents um, the person or you or, or whatever you're, you, you intend to create. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just put some of these, some of these um, herbs in there. I'm going to put kind of a lot of rose again our, our main thing is for it to be loving so we're going to put a lot of these rose petals in there maybe even one full bud just for shits and grins okay so far do you guys see that so right now we just have you know we're just putting in just a few things to add more energy to the intention. And as we're doing this, the smoke is carrying up the intention and the candles are enhancing the energy as well as the essential oils. Again, any one of these or any two or any combined of these things is effective. We're going to do the rosemary, which is, again, the clear quartz of the herbs for me because it kind of represents and enhances anything that it's that it's paired with, plus it makes really, really good wings, <laughs> air fried wings, but that's another story. If you are going to eat the herbs, make sure that the herbs you can eat, just research, don't just pick up whatever and put it in your mouth, <laughs> okay? We want to definitely add the St. John's wort because the protection, we want this to be a protected, it, it adds faithfulness and stability. Um, you know, that's the other thing about rose, rosemary and cayenne pepper. They're adding that faithfulness as well. So anything that represents those things, um, you know, and the St. John's Ward, it adds that protection and it makes this bond really strong. So we're going to add a lot of this because for me, 
the physical part of it is important uh, for sure, obviously, to get you to that understanding, but the deeper bond is what's going to make it last. So that's what I'm seeking uh, really more than anything. We're going to put that lavender in there. We have lavender, again, that represents also a strong bond, protection, and strength, and, and just a calm, peaceful, loving relationship. And then we want peppermint, which as, a, you know, as I stated before, peppermint definitely is, you know, a way to enhance the abundance. You're sending out actual love signals <laughs> when you're using peppermint or when you're you're adding peppermint to any any one thing that you're doing so we're going to add lots of peppermint because I want to send out those love sen signals to my baby okay so one more little pinch of peppermint there <laughs> Okay, so you guys, this intention jar is coming together beautifully. You can see you have the, the wonderful herbs and the, and the rosebud there, as well as the um, crystals. Now, you can use bigger crystals if you want to. Um, this is something that I, I wouldn't put in there because, again, this intention jar is going to be put somewhere else. So something like this would be wonderful. This pink would, would, you know, I could drop that in there as well with that rose quartz. And now we are enhancing the energy. I like the small crystals because sometimes I put multiple things in there. But really, anything that you want to add that is going to add to that intention, which again, my, my intention is a long-term relationship um, that is stable and loving and intuitively guided and connected, okay? So the last things that we're going to add in terms of, of actual, actually we'll add some of this jasmine too, is we're going to add, you know, the, the spices in there. Jasmine also represents love. It's sort of like a, a, a another kind of energy enhancing rose petal. Um, it represents love as well. I like things a little spicy. I can be sensual, so I want my partner to be sensual. I want him to want it too. <laughs> often uh, and um, yeah and as well as this strong bond represented by the cayenne pepper now how spicy you want it is up to you okay I'm just gonna you know I like the sugar and the spice so I don't want it to be this fiery thing that doesn't is not mixed with the sweetness of the honey because I'm all about balance so we're going to put a little bit of honey in there. Now you just want to put a little bit of honey. You don't have to put that much. Okay. And now we're just going to drop a few drops of each of these intention oils. I mean, it's, yeah, intention pretty much oils in there. And then um, we'll throw our sigil in there. I'll add a little um, glitter to it. And then I want to pull a card to kind of set the tone and see, you know, what message spirit has as I set this intention and move and, and to move forward? Okay. Now, again, as I said, whatever you what, use your intuition to know how many drops, but really, a couple drops is all you really need of each one. Um, unless you know, it really depends on the size of your intention and what you feel is right. Since I'm going to put all of these in there, which is jasmine, we have the sandalwood. Just going to put a couple of drops of each. Now, a wonderful way um, before you also put your intention jar away is you can charge it in the sun. You can find it, set it on, you know, your windowsill for the day. Um, and you can also charge it in the moonlight of a full moon um, or, you know, something like that. So it, if you wanted to do that before you placed it wherever you were going to place it, so since I'm seeking long-term, um, a, a long-term relationship, I would put this somewhere that was like, like a loving place. So more than likely, I would set this on my altar because that's where I send out all of my intentions. That's where I receive all of my energy and all of, you know, that's where I sort of, it's sort of my place to be. 
But if you were trying to, say, improve your relationship with your husband or wife and you were, you know, wanting something to go away over time or you wanted to grow something more over time, you would place this in a place like, you know, under your bed, um, on your nightstand, somewhere in your room or in your, you know, in your, in your closet somewhere tucked away where it wouldn't actually be disturbed, but it can just kind of sit and send out these intentions, okay? And again, you'll feel where to put it. You know, if you want to create a, 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 an intention jar for your business to grow, then you would probably go ahead and place this somewhere on your desk so that you can even look at it and, and, and vibe with it sometimes and just kind of look at it and remember the intention that you set by putting this together, okay? So I put those, I put everything in there as far as the oils went. I'm just going to drop a little glitter in there because like I said, I can be flashy. I want us to be flashy, but I want us to have that balance of sweet and spice and flash. <laughs> you can't have all one thing and have it be, you know, and have it be, um, because balance is necessary and that's just the bottom line. Okay, so I just put it, now look how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks with the glitter. Oh, this represents me and my baby. Do you see what I mean, you guys? And I can actually feel that. So, we've added everything in there. We're now getting ready to go ahead and add the finishing touch. It doesn't really matter how you add this in there, okay? I kind of want to still be able to see it. So I'm going to sort of just put it around the edges. My, uh, I'm going to fold it and put it just in, within the jar like this. You can fold it up so you don't see it. You can, you know, you can put it, again, whatever works for you. So I put it along the side there so that when I look at the jar, I, on this side I see this, and then on the other side... I see the actual, you know, contents of the intention. I love this so much. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I love this so much. And then finally, yeah, so now you have, now you have your very own intention jar. Okay? There's your sigil or your intention or your talent, whatever, uh, you know, what, whatever you wrote on that parchment or piece of paper. If it's more money, you can put a dollar in there, five dollars in there. You want to multiply it, you'll want to use some different, some different um, herbs and oils and things like that. But ultimately, you'll want to write your intention on that, on uh, or, or put actual money in there, and you know just leave it in there, and watch your money multiply. Okay, so again, my long-term relationship intention jar. So now what I'm going to just do is I'm going to allow this and this to sit here and as this candle burns down, my newly informed intention jar is going to be charged with that. And as the, you know, as the smoke keeps it clean and just keep, as soon as this is finished uh, burning out on its own, then I'm going to go ahead and place this intention jar either in the sun to charge it and then put it, you know, somewhere in my room or somewhere where I can see it or somewhere I might even put it under my bed or near my bed because it represents somebody that I would like to spend time with there <laughs> in a long-term way. <laughs> Excuse me. So anyway, if you guys are interested in, you know, uh, my making you an intention jar or you know ordering some of this sort of stuff for your friends and family for the holidays definitely look in the description it'll take you to the travelintoro.com and that's where I have you know this kind of stuff available as well as the manifest manifest flame candle and these are going to these are actually under what's called the sacred portal jar Okay, because this is taking you to the other place in a long-term way, you know. Like I say, for candle magic, 
you know, if you need to manifest something quickly or get money for a bill real quick or something like that, candle magic is the way to go. But if you're seeking a long-term partner or long-term success or growth in your business, you'll want to look into a sacred portal intention jar. And that is actually going to, you're going to see growth in the, in the area that you're seeking growth in um, exponentially. And you know, actually, I see that I have a little piece of crystal quartz here that I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in here as well, along with the rose quartz. Yeah, that feels better. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you again for joining me. Again, check out the description if you guys are interested in getting something going. Um, I can certainly help. Oh, you know, I did say that I was going to go ahead and pull one oracle card um, to see what message Spirit has before I send you guys on your beautiful way. What, if, what, what message do you want me to give the viewer, Spirit, as they move into their new beginning and what their focus is. Okay, great adventure ahead. Spirit wants you to take a risk and venture forward, okay? That's the message. Bottom of the deck, beautiful. I love you, Spirit. Thank you. The time is now. Answering the call. Spirit wants you to answer the call of adventure, take a risk, and move forward. The time is now. Thank you again for joining me. I am M, the Traveling Tarot. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Peace. So I just realized also that I forgot to put the straw flower in there, and um, it's important enough for me to jump back on and do that because... The whole point of this is that I'm looking for longevity, and I put this out here with the intention of it representing, oh, that smells so good when you open it again. <laughs> so I definitely want to put, you know, one of these in there as well. And it's just these, these straw flowers, they're these really big flowers, but they represent longevity, so... I just wanted to jump back on and make sure that I included that and showed you guys. Um, you can put the straw flowers even if it's dealing with finances or business because those represent longevity in general. And so as this candle burns down, um, I'm just leaving this set here so that this can absorb the, the entire energy and I've just put my clear quartz and my amethyst on top of my jar until this is finished burning down. And then I'll go ahead and place it in, in a discreet place again, probably somewhere near my bed, um, as that represents long-term relationship, typically, or marriage, or something like that. So, again, thank you for joining me. Uh, I love you guys. Again, take care of each other. Bye.